I'm Penny Stacy, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine, and I'm here at the BEC Conference in Las Vegas, which began Sunday and runs through today. The conference has featured a number of informative sessions, including one by Victor Cornelier, CEO of TSI Exterior Wall Systems, who spoke about leadership within contract glazing firms and his optimism for 2012. The number one tip is internal relationships with all of your employees. They all have a skin in the game, they all have a handle and a hand on what's going forward to help us all work together. And you know, whatever their specific project uh, their duties are, everybody's got to understand it, have respect for everybody else, and have that relationship to the back, I've got your back covered theory. We had projects, major projects, that went on hold pre-recession because of our relationship with our owners, specifically. They didn't put those projects back out on the street, they negotiated them with us for less money, but not panic pricing sort of money. Now those jobs are in our backlog, so those, our backlog right now is north of $100 million, and all of that is private work. In addition, we spoke with Chris Dolan of Guardian Industries and Brendan Dillon of Pythagoras Solar about some exciting work that the two companies are doing together. Guardian and uh, Pythagoras have been working together for about a year now and uh, Guardian has its network and its uh, coated products, glass products and manufacturing capability. Pythagoras has the technology that uh, comes with the photovoltaic uh, tiles which uh, develop the units that we have here. So it's really a great combination of the two. So really this is the first product that combines an energy efficient window with a high efficiency solar panel. So you get the same benefits you do out of a low E insulated glass unit, the optimized daylighting and thermal management as well as a very high power density solar energy device. One of the advantages that Guardian has is we've got um, manufacturing capability to help develop the technology. Ultimately we see it being uh, part of our uh, select fabricator uh, marketing program. A lot of projects will use this kind of product along with SunGuard uh, Low-E product for example so it really complements the SunGuard product line that we market through our select fabricators. We also spoke with Con Ears, Henry Taylor, who chairs the BEC division about the week's events. All the sessions this year were driven by surveys of last year's attendance. We asked our members last year what they wanted to walk away from this year, what they wanted to hear. So the agenda was based on their feedback. The focus of this year's conference has been very much the many hats of the glazing contractor, because when you look at today's small business company, the manager owner is everything. He's the uh, information technology officer, the chief financial officer, he's HR, he's project manager, he's a field supervisor. He is all these things. They are, we, we don't have the luxury today of hiring multiple people to cover these different areas. So the, the owner of a small business today covers all these, he wears many hats. So the takeaway this year has been that BEC is very, very interested and focused on the needs of the small business owner. Jeff Leone of True Light spoke with us about where he thinks the contract glazing industry is headed. Well, I mean, I think the contract glazers are like the fabricators are going to focus on service and differentiating themselves by reliability. And for the contractor, a lot of that has to do with project management. They have to choose fabricators that provide great quality that they don't have to worry about, and then they have to manage their projects very well. And at the end, they're going to have to have a more robust process to collect their money, because we all know that's a challenge today. So I think the uh, glazers that get through this tough time are going to end up being truly terrific companies because they'd have weathered the storm, they would have fixed their processes underneath, and they're going to be ready to handle the growth that the industry is going to see in a few years. Today, the conference will feature a panel about the buildings of the future and will end with a golf outing this afternoon. Be sure to stay tuned to USGNN.com for the latest from the event.